and welcome. My name is Ashley. Today's book review is going to be on Living Out Loud by Stacey Hart. I found this book on Instagram. Someone posted a picture of it and I had never read anything by Stacey before. I love trying new authors. Plus this book was on Kindle Unlimited. I was really surprised. There was a couple of things I was a little confused about and we'll talk about those. This book in general is about a woman named Anne. She's going through a lot of life changes, just moving to New York with her sisters and mother. She's lived a sheltered life a little because she comes from a small town and also because she was born with a heart defect, which will basically be the point of this book, living out loud. Now she's in New York. She wants to start having those life experiences. That includes everything from her first kiss to her first job. At her first job is where she's going to meet Greg and he's going to start helping her try and check things off her list. The premise of the book I loved. The dynamic of her family I thought was phenomenal. The couple issues I did have with the book were things I just felt were unnecessary or maybe didn't belong. But the bottom line is, however Stacy wrote the book, she's the author and gets to make those decisions. They were just things that maybe I would have chose not to do. One of those things was the sex scene. The majority of this book is an incredibly great clean romance. There's one kiss, that's pretty much it. So at the end, when there's a really long sex scene, to me, I felt like they could have done without that. Stacy could have had it where there was one of those, you know, cut scenes where it's like, um, they went to bed and then they woke up completely satisfied, those cut scenes type of a thing. It's not that you can't have a sex scene, it just, I felt like, to me, it just is straddling two things. Yes, it's erotic because it has that sex scene, but for the most part, it's clean and it doesn't feel like it fits either one of those perfectly, I guess, in my opinion. The other issue I had with this book had more to do with the storyline, and that is Annie is dating a guy named Will. Greg does not like Will because of a history Will has with Greg's sister. All of that is completely fine and quite frankly works surprisingly well in this book. My issue becomes when Greg's sister is telling her story about what happened between her and Will. She basically says that Will date rape drugged her and a whole bunch of stuff happened. I felt like it was oddly dark for how light this book is. And it was unnecessary because I feel like just simply having Will and Greg's sister have a falling out or Will not treat her right or Will has a lot of money and has a tendency to talk down towards people and I don't even know if he knows that he's doing it. You could have had a number of issues without including a date rape drug. And when it comes to Annie and Will, everything that happened that night really has no impact on Annie and Will's relationship. The bottom line is that Greg needed a reason to dislike Will for this story to work. I agree with that. And I think the sister was a good choice. I just don't think that the story that they chose for her was right because I felt like it was too dark for this story. You can't have such an optimistic light book and then it take two really dark turns when those are not necessary, I guess is what my issue with it is. Overall, I like the book and I really enjoyed Stacy's style of writing, so I will be reading more of her books. I just thought with those couple of changes, it could have been more enjoyable for me. I know everybody has their own opinion. If you like this book review, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave those down below. And if you want my reviews every week, subscribe. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you again soon.